Is the TCM game worth playing in 2024? So as of recording this video, it is currently half off on the Steam store. And if you play on Xbox, you can get it on Game Pass and you could try for free. I did want to make this video around two months ago. However, I pushed it back because I wanted to get a little more hours under my belt. And now with over 2,000 hours in the game, we can finally see if it's another Dead by Daylight copy. Or will we see this game fail like we did Friday the 13th? So will Texas Chainsaw Massacre fail like these other ASIM games? Or will it stand alone at the top as its own unique ASIM horror experience? And unlike the typical 4v one asim games texas has their own spin on it with a 3v4 family versus victim horror experience on the family side you need to lock down and patrol the area as you hunt down victims and as a victim you must stay quiet find tools and unlock doors as you avoid the family so around two months ago i made a post on the reddit where i said was tcm worth playing in 2024 and i got a good amount of responses and i just want to go over these responses before i give my own opinion so let's get right into it so the first comment we got is from accomplished scam 830 the motherfucker said mm, maybe not until more content is released another comment from my red helmet says here i'll help you go to your local spear halloween store buy a leather face mask and slam your front door on yourself take about 20 seconds while on the ground reflect why you bought this game and then stand up and wave your hands in the air follow me for more tcm advice next comment is from ladia 77 she says absolutely not if you really want to play then my suggestion is to consider it after 90 days it's more like a beta version now devs are busy selling skins next comment from dangerous salt 477 says no not at all for 40 bucks you can have someone in a leather face mask kick you in the balls 20 times and you will still get pretty much the experience <laughs> okay what the fuck next comment from applejack bill says could look nice on the shelf as others have stated however the game is dying and the devs don't care they got our money and have consistently shown no signs of wanting to genuinely improve their game joe king says 100 percent save your money the novelty doesn't last long motherfucker trying to use big words he basically saying that the freshness or the newness doesn't last long which is kind of irrelevant because it doesn't last long in any game if you play any game for too long it will get old if you do anything for too long it will get old flash of the dead says it was fun at lunch but it's not worth it at this point mr jjk 2010 says i got it on game pass for free however i stopped playing it because gun is self-destructing this game i would have been pissed spending money on this game just for it to kill itself not even one year later next comment says no the game is going downhill extremely fast and chances are it's going to be dead by this summer use that money to buy v bucks or something this motherfucker just said buy v bucks with it then Rai replied to his comment and said, I never thought I'd see the day where $40 in V-Bucks is more valuable than TTM. London Lobby says, no, devs can't balance the game causing all family players to leave, leaving behind a lopsided family to victim player base ratio. Victim is fun and probably the most immersive atmospheric multiplayer horror the genre has to offer, but unless you literally don't care about the game balance and don't mind doing community service by playing a dead role, and you don't mind waiting potentially up to 10 minutes in lobbies for one game, then it is worth it. E712064, motherfucker, what is that username? Says if you're on PC, buy it on Steam and see it for yourself. You can always refund the game. And then Morpheus said, no, there are better games that provide much more hours of entertainment for $40. TCM is far from finished. Shakzula0409 said, if you have Xbox Game Pass, then you could try it on there and see if you like it. The people that are still playing this are genuinely pretty damn good at the game at this point, so you'll probably struggle for a while as you figure out what the hell you're supposed to do and to get a feel of the maps. I still play on occasion and genuinely enjoy it, but the matchmaking is terrible and sometimes it turns into a a lobby simulator from what i've gathered though it seems the devs are working on that issue as well as another large content update sometime in the near future but if you scroll through the sub long enough you'll find the community doesn't have much faith in these devs and it's understandable why TLDR, which is too long didn't read just in case if people didn't read it the game has lots of potential and it can be fun but it's played by mediocre at best devs and poor balance 
I recommend paying ten dollars to get the game pass and try it, especially because there are other good games on there too. But I wouldn't spend forty dollars on it. Then M. Perez Stoney, right up under that, said, "No, if you pick victim, you'll deal with long lobbies and deal with Danny dodging. If you pick family, you'll deal with grapple spamming, family dodging, and Danny dodging." Leonardo Di Penga said it was super fun in the beginning i played it a lot i haven't touched it since november at this point cyber ghostface says as a fan of the franchise i've been having a lot of fun with it bob is the best said it's a fun game though most people on here are just going to tell you it's not worth the money i've definitely played it enough to think it's a good purchase then we got another comment from fancy saying to me yes i spent a lot of time playing it and sure there are some issues as with any game but it's been a lot of fun overall and has easily become one of my favorites the unique characters and abilities every match is going to be a little different and that's what makes it fun strategizing so is the texas chainsaw massacre worth playing in 2024 in my opinion it's worth it uh you don't gotta buy the skins you don't gotta buy like the all the DLCs and execution packs, but just the base game, just to play the base game, I feel like it's worth it, especially if you're a fan of the franchise. If you watch the Texas Chainsaw Massacre films, I would say get it then because it really makes you feel like you're inside of that horror film and a video game scenario. And it gives you the opportunity to say, well, what I would do in these type of situations and even playing family and outsmarting good players on the victim side even just gives you a thrill. But I will say, I do feel like all the people that do play this game, they do kind of ruin it for themselves in the long run. Because you got family members who always want to get a 4K. And then you got victim teams who always want to speed rush and just speed run every match. So my advice, if you just start playing this game or you a veteran playing this game, play both sides and just have fun doing it. It doesn't matter if you win. It's a video game at the end of the day. And I come from Day by Daylight, so my opinion probably don't mean nothing. But I had a fair share of hours in Dead by Daylight, and I will say that Texas Chainsaw Massacre has been a breath of fresh air. It's just been a new experience that's just been still new and still refreshing, in my opinion. But I will say that Dead by Daylight, with their content, their original content to their DLC license, and I really feel like that's one reason why the game is still alive to this day. And they do have some of the best movement that I have ever played in an ASIM game. However, I do feel like TCM has the best atmosphere in any ASIM horror game out there to date. I honestly feel like it has the best character models, character designs, their backstories, and even the lore for Texas. The unique execution kills that each family member gets, and also the voice lines that each character in the game has. It just makes playing each game unique and just fun and interactive. And yes, the game does have bugs and it does have its issues. And I feel like it's just going through its hard time right now. You know, it's other ASIM games that failed that was before it and it's already one that's at the top. So it's kind of finding its way through the ropes right now. But I do feel like this game has a nice cult following, like a good thousand of us, 2,000, maybe a couple thousand more that's gonna buy everything and support the devs no matter what. So I do feel like this game is gonna last a long time. So yes, you should go and play TCM right now and go and find me in the lobby. <laughs> I'm playing victim and family, so you might catch me on either side. But if you're still on the fence about getting TCM, go buy it on Steam, play it for an hour, play a good three games, four games, and if you like it, keep it. But if not, refund it. And then, like people were saying in the Reddit, get it on Game Pass. But if you are just a fan of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre franchise, I would say get it. And I will put all the DLC content that they have put in the game so far. So all the way from weapon skins to execution packs to new victims to new family members, new skins made by Greg Nicotero to the free Johnny skin, the free Bride Sissy skin, and also the two free maps. And as a solo ASIM horror player, I feel like I haven't even cracked the surface of with this game, the fun factor of what it could possibly be. Um, I feel like once I really start playing custom matches and really playing with groups and stuff, 
I would really unlock the potential of what this game could be, but it's already fun for me playing solo. So, and I also want to thank everybody out there for subscribing to the channel. We hit 1,000 subscribers, so thank everybody so much. Uh, Y'all changed my life, just like this game changed my life. So, and comment if you guys want to see me play any other games on the channel. Hope y'all have a good rest of your day. I'm out. What the hell? Yo, the sign is real simple, B. It says we get it up.